today with my weekly favorites. These are products that I have been loving for this week and I have quite a few new products that you probably have never heard me talk about in a favorites video before. The first one are these beautiful, amazing flowers. Like, let's just take a look at them. These are so pretty. This is actually called the Sangria Bouquet. Now, I am not a very good flower arranger, uh, so I did the best I could, but the flowers are beautiful. They came yesterday and they are so fresh and vibrant and ah, beautiful. And this is from the company, the Books Company, or so it's B-O-U-Q-S. The cool thing about this is they're flowers that are grown on a volcano. Like what? Grown on a volcano, 10,000 feet above sea level, and it says that they're fed by pure volcanic snowmelt, mineral rich soil, and they're cut and delivered very quickly. They shipped on Thursday, I got them on Friday. So very, very quick delivery time. They're fresh, they're beautiful, and they're like brightening up my house. They're very fall-esque with the orange and the like burgundy colors. I really, really love them. Um, they also said that their sustainable and eco-friendly farms protect the environment and their workers. Some of their practices are non-toxic red label chemicals used, recycling rainwater, fair wages, safe working conditions, and no child labor. So I just, I love companies that are doing something good for the environment or... So I just think this is a really cool company. I will leave their link down below and if I have any discount or coupon codes, I will make sure that I leave them in the description box. But they're beautiful flowers. They're comparable to any other flower company. They're not crazy expensive or anything. I found them to be right on par with any other delivery flower service, um, if not cheaper. I think it's really cool that they are grown on a volcano because I've never heard of that before. And they had so many beautiful arrangements. So again, this one is the Sangria one. It has beautiful Gerber daisies, roses, and it's really pretty like burgundy. I don't know what this is. It's like a burgundy, like leafy flower. But I think it's absolutely stunning. They're beautiful. I think that if you had something you needed to deliver flowers to, this would be a great way to go. The volcano aspect of it like totally got me. So I just think it's really cool. Great delivery. They were fresh, beautiful, and they're like sitting here in my office looking beautiful. And so I wanted to share that with you. Again, link will be down below as well as any discount codes that I have for any of the products mentioned. And that is the Books Company. So let's get into makeup. So two foundations that have literally stolen my heart this week. I did first impressions of both of these and both of them are like massively winning in my opinion. The first, I've done a first impression of this one. It should be up on my channel this coming week and it's the Makeup Forever HD Ultra Foundation Stick. Mine is in the shade 118. This is amazing. It gives the most beautiful, luminous, glowy, healthy look to your skin without being oily or dewy or too dewy um, or greasy looking. It's easy to apply. It's a beautiful medium uh, probably a little bit full coverage like you could definitely build it up. It builds up beautifully and it doesn't get cakey throughout the day It doesn't wear off throughout the day. Um, it is a little bit pricier. I think it's like $43, but it's just so easy. It's easy for touch-ups. I just love it I absolutely love it and the 118 is a perfect shade range for me or shade match for me I've not self tanned in a very long time. So everything you see here is like all natural as far as skin color goes loving that the other one which I'm wearing today, this is my second day wearing it, and I'm in love. I am absolutely madly in love with this. This is the Givenchy Tint Couture Balm Blurring Foundation Balm Bare Skin Perfect with Sunscreen SPF 15. I have mine in the shade number three, Nude Sand, and this is amazing. I had been eyeing it on Sephora's website for probably a month or two, and I was just waiting for a few of my like YouTube girls that I watch that try a lot of high-end makeup and I finally saw Flower Balm 31 or Natalie mention this and she said how much she loved it and I'm like, all right, sold girl, I'm buying it. Got it in my cart, bought it, tried it yesterday, tried it today. It's absolutely beautiful. It is the most flawless, natural skin finished foundation I've ever tried. It doesn't look like there's makeup on your skin. It doesn't look heavy. It just evens out your skin tone. I would say it's like a light to possibly buildable medium. Uh, if you have a lot of acne prone skin, I don't think you'll love it because I don't think it's going to cover discoloration, acne, um, scarring, that kind of stuff because it's not full coverage. You definitely can build it up to like a medium-ish coverage, but it is absolutely beautiful and stunning on the skin. Like I've never had a foundation where I looked and I thought my skin looks amazing and it does not look like I have a stitch of makeup on. It's just, it's so good and it is expensive, but the stuff is 
amazeballs. It is so good. So if you want a splurge item, you like a lighter finished foundation, but you want your skin to look flawless, I highly recommend this. Again, this is the Tint Couture Balm Blurring Foundation from Givenchy. I'm in love. Next, eye products. These are the new Pure Eye Polishes Base Top Coat from Pure Makeup or Pure Minerals, I think is what it's called. Um, this stuff is amazing. I wore this color yesterday. It's called Silk, and it's very interesting. They're very liquidy. They remind me a lot of the consistency of the Josie Moran Coconut Water Eye Bases. Um, it has like a little netting in there, and you could either use your finger to apply it, or you can use these little sponge applicators, which I actually use both. I use my finger and the applicator. This one is in silk, and it's a beautiful rose gold color. It's stunning. I wore this on my lid yesterday, paired with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And then today, I used the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and I paired it with this color Caviar, which is a beautiful green, and it's like massively sparkly. And it's so incredibly stunning. This stuff did not crease. It did not budge. It did not... I didn't have fallout. It stayed from when I did my makeup at 8 o'clock yesterday morning until I washed it off at um, 8 o'clock last night. So 12 hours of wear. I didn't have any problem with it fading, wearing off, transferring, moving, budging, getting crusty, flaking off, nothing. It was... These are amazing. So I highly recommend trying these out if you haven't already because they're... So good, so good. Another eye product, um, this is what I've been using for my gel liner, and this is the Black Black Chromaline from MAC. I've never heard anyone talk about this. It's a huge pot of it. I actually like this better than Black Track Fluid Line. It's matte, it's black, it's very creamy, it blends very easily onto your upper lash line. I think they have a bunch of different colors of this, maybe some brighter ones, which I actually want to try um, some of the brighter ones to do some great like colored liner. I think this stuff is fantastic. I've been using it for a few weeks now, uh, but I've just really fallen in love with it, and it's their chroma liner. So black, black chroma liner from MAC is really great. All right, the next product is a brow product. Now, you guys know I really love the Anastasia Brow Wiz, Urban Decay Brow Beater or Brow, whatever it's called, their, their new one, um, and then also the NYX pencils, the new NYX ones. Uh, but I got sent the It Cosmetics Brow Pencil, and this is, I don't know if they've reformulated this, and it's their universal brow pencil, but the, all the ones I tried before were always really dry and just never worked for my brows. And I've been using this, this is a brand new one that I got sent. I've been using this the last couple days and I love it in my brows. I love the color, I love the consistency. It was really easy, it, I just really like it. So again, I use that today and I really like it. I'm just, you know, fixing up that brow. So this is great. Uh, I have always been like really into the very, very fine tipped brow pencils. It's thicker, but it's like flattened. And this stuff is great. I'm really loving it. So if you have not tried the It Cosmetics pencil, I challenge you to try it because I am really, really loving it. And the last thing that's a favorite is this Dose of Color Liquid Lipstick in Stone. I was so happy when I saw that they came out with this and you didn't have to buy it in the three pack. You buy it from Dose of Color's website. It's what's on my lips today. I haven't been able to stop wearing it. I've worn it every day for the last four days. And I paired it with uh, Soar from MAC. So I just lined my lips with Soar from MAC, topped it with this. I've also used Contempo from ColourPop for a lip liner. I have used Edge to Edge from MAC as a lip liner. It just pairs so greatly with any of those kind of pinky mauve colored lip liners. It's just, it's the perfect, it's the perfect lip. Like I would wear this lip every day for the rest of my life. Like this is my color in a lip. Like. If I was to be remade into a color, this is the color I would be remade into. I just love it so much. So those are my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'd love to know what some of your weekly favorites are. Uh, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow my social media. It's all Shades of Cassie. I will have that linked down below as well. And I hope that you had a fantastic week. So I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!